I, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke. Um, how, I, how I sort of came to be here. How did some of these things happen? And, and maybe there's some lessons there. Because um, I, I often find myself wondering how did this happen? Um, so I didn't really know what I was going to do uh, when, when I got older. I, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke which said that a um, sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Uh, if, you if you go back, say, 300 years, the things that we take for granted today uh, would be, you'd, you'd be burned at the stake for. Um, you know, being able to fly, um, that's crazy. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively, uh, with the internet, uh, a, a, a group mind of sorts. Um, and having access to all the world's information uh, instantly from almost anywhere on the earth. Um, this is this is stuff that that really would be magic, or would be considered magic um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined in, in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it actually goes goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if if, if I can do some of those things, basically, if, if if I can advance technology, then that that's like magic, and that would be really cool. Um, and I was at sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out what, what does it all mean? Like, what's the purpose of things? Um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the, 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 the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened. And, and that's really the only way forward. So. Uh, so, so I, I, I studied uh, physics and business because I figured in order to do a lot of these things you, you need to know how the universe works and you need to know how, how, how the economy works um, and you also need to be able to bring a lot of people together to work with you to create something because it's very difficult to do something as, as an individual if it's, if it's a significant technology. So I, uh, I originally came out to, to California to uh, try to figure out how to improve the energy density of of, um, uh, of, of electric vehicles? Basically, to, to try to figure out if there was an advanced capacitor that that, that could serve as an alternative to batteries, and um, that was in '95. And uh, that's also when the internet uh, started to happen. And and it, I, I I thought, well, I can either uh, pursue this tech this technology where success maybe may not be one of the possible outcomes, which is always tricky, um, or uh, participate in the internet and, and be, be part of it. So I decided to, to drop out. Um, now, so you, unfortunately, we're, we're, we're past graduation, so I can't be accused of recommending that to you. Um, <laughs> and um, so, so did some internet stuff. Um, you know, did, did a few things here and there. But, but if people think it's impossible, and, uh, and started SpaceX, um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Um, one friend made me sit down and watch a bunch of videos of rockets blowing up. <laughs> um, let me tell you, he wasn't far wrong. <laughs> Uh, th 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 it was it was tough going there in the beginning uh, because I'd never built anything physical. I mean, I built like little model rockets as a kid and that kind of thing, but um, I never had a company that built anything physical. So I had to figure out how to how to do all these things and and bring together the right team of people, and um, and and so we 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 did all that and and then failed three times. Um, it, it, it it was tough tough going. Um, because the thing about a rocket is that the, the, the passing grade is 100%. Uh, and uh, you, you don't get to actually test the rocket in the real environment that it's going to be in. So I think so the best analogy for, for rocket engineering is, is like if you want to create a really com complicated bit of software, um, you, c you can't run the software as an integrated whole, and you can't run it on the computer it's intended to run on 
But the first time you put it all together and write it on that computer, it must run with no bugs. That's, that's basically the end. The first launch, I was picking up bits of rocket near the, near the launch site, it was a bit sad. Um, and uh, but we, we, we learned with, with each successive flight and, uh, and we're able to, with, uh, eventually with the fourth flight in 2008, uh, reach orbit. Um, and that was also with the last bit of money that we had. So, um, thank, thank goodness uh, that, that happened. Um, it, I think the saying is fourth time's the charm. Um, so that, so we, we got the Falcon 1 to orbit and then uh, began to scale that up to, to the Falcon 9 which is um, about an order of magnitude more uh, thrust. It's uh, around a million pounds of thrust and we managed to get that to orbit and then uh, developed a Dragon spacecraft uh, which um, recently was able to dock and return to Earth from the space station. Um, that was... Uh, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, but, but there's a lot more that, ha that, that, that must happen beyond this in order for humanity to, be, to become a spacefaring civilization and ultimately um, a multi-planet species. Um, and that's something I think it's, it's, it's vitally important and, and I hope um, that, that some of you will, will participate in, in that either at SpaceX or, or at other companies because it's just really one of the, the, the most important things for the preservation and extension of consciousness. Um, I mean, it's worth noting, as I'm sure people are aware, that the Earth has been around for four billion years and uh, civilization, at least in terms of having um, writing, has been around for 10,000 years. Um, so uh, it's it's really uh, it's somewhat of a tenuous existence that that uh, um, civilization and, and consciousness as, as we know it has, has been on Earth. And I think um, I, I'm actually I'm actually fairly optimistic about the future of Earth. So I don't want to I don't want to sort of people to have the wrong impression that I think we're all about to die. Um, I, I think I think we'll I think things will most likely be okay for a, for a long time on Earth. But not, not for sure, but most likely. I, I think the, 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 the overarching point I want to make is that um, you, know, you, you guys are the, the magicians of the 21st century. You know, um, don't let like anything hold you back. Uh, imagination is, is the limit. Um, and um, go out there and create some magic. Thank you.